Hello, and welcome to my Fallout 4 experience. <sighs> Mayor's in no mood to talk about any of this synth nonsense. Unless you're looking for a housing permit, I can't help you. Let's hear about the permit. We have one home available. It's in the center of town, right near the market. You can do whatever you like with the interior, and all the tools you need to make your own furnishings are provided at no extra charge. I'll take it. Here's the key. Let me be the first to welcome you as a resident of the Great Green Jewel. Mayor's office is closed. So, having the uh, home plate is essential for doing operations at the Great Green Jewel. Yes, yeah, so here we are down at the uh, riverside, just further up from um, Back Street Apparel. We just keep heading along the river's edge. Yeah, so rather trying to rather than trying to find uh, Park Street Station from uh, Diamond City, you know, I headed down to the river, moved along from uh, Back Street Pal, which is still uh, being cleared, all the way down here. I know another way in. I thought I'd show it to you. Stay low, you go down here because there's loads of raiders everywhere. And if you come around here, you'll find a lucigen. Check the mines. Mines and way go around the back of the rooster chain. Go right around the back from the left of the You'll find an armor bench. Uh, well, actually, um, armor, yeah, armor bench. I think. No, 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 the power armor bench. Yeah. Let's go down here. Right, that's the suit repaired. And moving on. So you come out of there, turn right, and go right again, and you will be at Boston Common. The place we want is just over down there. This is where the legendary swan lives. For an L. Four being the fourth letter of railroad, which is L. So, uh, let's swan, and swan over there, that building. That's where Swan stuff is. And beyond that, Swan. We shall proceed on to Park Street Station. Decision we've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. 
He caught that detective snooping around, and what does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left. Well, I'm going up and going this way because, of course, the mine's to the left and there's a wall in the way, so if there is anyone over there, I can shoot them. If the mine goes off, I won't get hit. Of course, now I'm here, I will get hit, so I have to be careful. Don't move. Let's get this party started. I have the blood of an Englishman. He's here for the detective. Ice him. Keep the heads down. <laughs> Balloon's gonna have your guts for God. Three goes in the top. Hey. Don't move. Don't do anything stupid. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing a power armor suit that all this all the pieces give you a Give you charisma. So my charisma is at about 14 at the moment. Don't make me pull the trigger. What do you want from me? These are quite high level, these triggermen. I mean, you know, I shot him twice with a shotgun. Uh, up close. I think it's a shot him. I didn't kill him. Uh, I'm only really coming in here for the cat stash. And ammo is always handy, so yeah. Nice. Leave everything else. Right, let's get this boy. We'll go in. Now, of course, I'm, I'm going to do this mission exactly the same way I did it last time, whilst I was in full that port. Which, of course, um, entails um, keeping Skinny Malone alone alive. Because you see him later, you meet him again. Uh, I can't remember, remember offhand where he is. We meet him, but we meet him again. He gets kicked out of the vault. Because he lets us go, he's going to let us go. Because of that, his men kick him out and take over the vault, which means I can come back later, clear it out again, and have a good old, uh, you know, good old clean up. I'm not going to take everything now. Yeah, so I might as well explain that you've got to have a conversation with Mama Murphy before you do this mission. Let me explain it. Further. Help you, kid. It always has answers. Just got to bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. Here. I already have some. Like a little kick yourself, huh? This'll do. Now, let me ride the high to where the sight wants to take me. You're looking for a man. He can help you. But he ain't gonna be the man you expect. 
is somewhere deep and dark, surrounded by folks with nothing but cruel intentions. But there's an echo, something in the past that can help you. When you meet the fat man and the angry woman, tell them to remember the quarry and Lily June on the rocks, and they'll let you and your friend pass. Phew, wow. That took more out of me than usual. I'm gonna need to rest now, kid. So, oh, that's the gist of this, then. You, know, you, you give Mama Murphy her first bit of jet, and then she gives you the, that reading, and then you come here and do this job, and you get the option. Ah, hello. Welcome in prison. Yes, I did. Don't do it. Hmm. Oh, it's pacifying them, and that is what it is. It pacifies them because they're red, they're sort of angry. And then you pacify them, and then they're less angry, and then they're easier to kill. I think that's the mechanic. See, the mine will always give you the benefit of the doubt. They do come up here, on mass. You know you can stop them with them. That's why I always use the mine first. I prefer using it like that, I think, you know, even when... Yeah, that's why the Don't do anything uh, stupid. That would be so important. Don't move. I got both of them. No. It can be tedious, but you know, things take time. You're going to do something for Must have turned tail and ran. It'll be done right. But he has been pacified once already. This might be. Shit, where'd that come from? The mechanics. You are right, so there's a good chance that this mission will go exactly like the other mission I did last time I was in Fallout 4, which is that you gather all this stuff together and then you end up dropping it outside the vault. Because when we rescue Nick, he shows you a quick way out, out and back in of the vault. And then that means I can come back into the vault and have a good old clear out later. So, let's see how that proceeds.
another thing is that when they let you go, they give you 10 seconds to leave. So you really don't want to be like, I've loaded too much stuff on board because you cannot walk. You, know, you can't get out of there in 10 seconds. Stuff. So it's a very good idea to drop the stuff before we get to that point. Quick weapons check. Of course, like the suit, you wear the suit for like obvious reasons. Like you can carry more stuff. So you like calibrated uh, legs and all that. And um, yeah. And uh, when I go out on missions, I normally carry a spare uh, chest set of armor uh, for the power suit. You know, <clears throat> I'd have um, the radiation one. You get action points with, and the other one I'd have the stealth boy fit. Uh, which which brings into question, or like a rather uh, the answer of. Um, Dance, you know. Yes, but much more about that later. This party started. Can be a bit tedious. Yeah, later, definitely, and then I would go. Uh, yeah, that's a good time to drop everything on the floor. So loud! Hmm? Time to dance! So I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? 
This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of gun all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of Union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. I've saved the mine. Brilliant. Wait. Okay. Yeah, of course, the trigger men are using uh, 10 mil, which is uh, my primary weapon, so that's really handy. This is where it gets interesting, very interesting. But still, we have enough mines, I think, to do a good job. What? No, no, no. Or any minute. Don't move. What do you if I could save a mine? That'd be good. I mean, yeah, the mine, the mine is a fail safe. I don't really want to use the mine to blow them up. It's just a fail safe, just in case they get too close. I really want to use the timber. Get ammo for that. Of course, this isn't an ordinary timber. It's the uh, the wasteland of friend. Fifty percent, fifty percent chance to um, quibble. Right there. Shit. I know it's terrible, really, isn't it? The mechanics of the game, I mean, they expect you. I think they expect you to do that. Uh, until you get the better skills later, where you can control them and tell them what to do and change their inventory out and stuff like that. Yeah, so that's why I always, that's why I always max out the charisma. I've got ten on charisma, and I'm wearing. Don't move. <laughs> I'm wearing uh, the suit of armor, which has been done in, <laughs> been done in the charisma. Thing. So the suit's done in charisma. I'm wearing a formal hat, which gives me charisma as well. Uh, and I've got a pair of glasses that gives me charisma. Uh, what else have I got? Uh, I'm wearing a suit, I'm wearing clothes. I've got the um, gunner's outfit on, which gives you one charisma as well for more endurance. So the endurance, yeah, the charisma stacked up. Oh, it's 14. I think I think it's 14 last count. So yeah, you keep that stacked up well, and you've got that, that skill. Uh, it works uh, every time. I mean, I mean you saw there, it worked twice. <laughs> Is the hole in the floor? Oh well. <laughs> Remember 
anyone in here? He's on his way. We'll prepare a little, a little welcoming present for him. <laughs> oh, please. Standard shotgun. Oh, I've got two shells. Oh, how wonderful! Enjoy your coffee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, he's not dead. Close. Oh, he's dead. Oh, sweet. All right, back to the handgun. Take a number, okay. Take another number. Nine hundred and ninety nine. Technically, if I take another number, maybe that would be near the one. Back have a look at that later. Gotta love the irony of the reverse damsel in distress scenario. There we go. Question is. Why did our heroine risk life and limb for an old private eye? So, he's already called us the heroine, so we, he knows who we are. We call you something. What are you? Told you, I'm a detective. Look, I know the skin and the metal parts ain't comforting, but it's not important right now. The only thing that matters is why you went to all this trouble to cut me loose. I need you to find someone, but it's... It's complicated. I don't exactly know where they could be, or... How long they've been gone. Well, I've done jobs with less. Somehow, nice and simple never makes it onto the menu in my world. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Malone's crew here used to be small time, muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. 
So they found this place. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. Empty vault. Perfect. Fire. Hold on. I hear some of them coming. There they are. How do you want to play this? The only job is to check on the hey, place. Valentine. You really want to do this here? With these human cockroaches around every corner? Where the heck is he? What was that? Now you go. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Don't do anything stupid. Hard and loud, huh? Well, it gets the job done. Bad for whoever cleans up the floors. This door is on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. Almost got it. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Uh, charisma. Got it there. We watch the weight as well. No, the weight's alright. Bit of AP. His body's died. Bit of weight. Didn't take long. So long.
got it. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. We doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing game, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. <laughs> Run back home to Daddy, shall I? Should've left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this! Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh yeah? Then what's this lady doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought her here to rub us all out. Skinny, remember the quarry. Lily June on the rocks. Ring any bells? How the hell did you know about that? Okay, you two can go. You got until the count of ten. Then I don't care what happened back in the old days. You're dead. What are you doing, Skinny? Kill him! No, Dollar. They get one chance to leave. Skinny Malone's putting his foot down. My mother was right. You mobsters are all just talk. We better get out of here fast. One. Countdown's also a better make a move. We follow Nick and not get a bit lost. Three. Right, so that's the mission complete. Uh, I'll follow Nick back to um, Commonwealth Army City. Sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Nick. Let's get to my office. We'll go over your case there. And complete the, the next bit, which is the question and answer bit at Nick's office. And then in my next video, um, I shall see you then. So, bye for now. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you.